Part 2 Ending, The Beginning of the End, Part 1 down below. With my friend we agreed to go with our plan only when and if she gets busted red-handed. In the meanwhile, I just need to keep my guard up. I agree with who said that I need to date more and work less. If she is having some sort of an affair with this OM, I would be more shocked as the way she manages to hide it and keep up a family good life than the cheating in itself. Like I said, I'm not putting down my guard. What I was trying to say is that if there has been, or still going on an affair, how shocking it would be not only for the affair itself, but how she played a great actress part. Better than an Oscar award. Today I got my two hours covered from 12 till 2, so I will be checking in person. That friend of mine is lending me his motorbike just in case the car come up. Another day without surprises. Don't know if I should be happy or not. Got at her place around 12.20 and kept myself at a safe distance. I saw the other man come out with two male co-workers and they walked away. Not even five minutes after my wife with three female co-workers came out and crossed the street to have lunch at that place from the day before. Only the four of them. So, I waited a bit and was undecided to what to do. I thought about calling her on the cell. Or just walk over there and surprise her, but I didn't think it was a good idea. So, I just stood there watching until they finished and went back in. I stayed a bit longer to see if other man would show up, but it didn't happen either. So, I wasted my time for something that didn't happen. I went back to work and finished my day as usual. Now I'm home typing here and to be honest quite sorry for myself for feeling this way. I made a decision now. I will let this week go by without torturing myself. I need to relax, otherwise my negativity will reflect on my kids. I did have a talk with my friend before coming home. He agreed that I stay put for now, and that he would take care of the situation without involving me. That made me smile a bit and made me understand what a good friend he is. In the past I was the one who always helped him and others. When I dropped back his bike we had a talk. He saw me and understood that I wasn't my normal self. He told me to live my usual life and that he would take care of the surveillance with a couple of his friend's co-workers. He also said that only in case something would be out of place he would call me. Then we gave each other a hug and tomorrow we would meet up for our soccer night. His plan is simple. He said that if something comes up during the surveillance, he would take pictures, then hand them to me. At that point the original plan will be put in action. He will go to OMW and inform her while I will be with mine, and then he would give me a call to say it's done and whenever I'm ready to confront my wife at that same moment. Instead, if he sees something that is getting way too far, she works as a team but has individual paperwork that she takes care of. The inspectors, also the other man, hand them the paperwork, and they forward it to whom it concerns, verifying first that all is done well. She does this with other five co-workers which are all females. They work in two different rooms, three per each room with their own desk. And yes, she has lunches with them and others from other rooms. Busy day at work today, just got five minutes for an update. I need to clarify the weekend thing. On every weekend we go out of our city to go visit our parents that live in two different towns. One weekend at my parents and one weekend at hers. The weekend that we go to her parents, she takes off on Friday afternoons with my S7. She gets there 24 hours before me because she helps out her brother with her mom, cleans the house better, washes her mom's hair, etc. This way her brother has time to do whatever he needs that during the week is impossible since he is the one that takes care of her parents. I doubt highly any type of meeting with OM, maybe phone calls, but no way they would have a physical meeting. He told me that he will only gather proofs if they would be acting like lovers with only pics and videos, that alone will make me confront her and blow up the situation without any other proofs. Probably the right next day putting in action our original plan. But if he ever saw them starting bonding, then he would wait just the time for them to get heated and bust them while recording a video. He will not assault him, just film them and then interrupting what they are doing. Afterwards, before coming to me he would go to OMW and inform her, and then to me. I have decided to try and pretend all is normal. I will keep acting as if nothing is going on, and if I trigger and she sees it, then I will blame my job for stress. This happened last night. When she asked what was up I just told her that at work there are two co-workers sick, and that I need to cover them with their work and that I'm stressed out, it worked so well that she wanted to make love also to relax me. Anyway, today till Monday my friend will be out of town for work. Today he will have a co-worker checkout, but Monday is a problem. Thinking of getting a two-hour permit myself. The bad news is that on the 25th of January my father was hospitalized for a cardio effusion. Hope I translated it right. Now things seem better. So, all my free time has been with him and still is. The good news is that there has been a terrible misunderstanding with what my wife was doing. So where to start? First thing my dad is always in ICU but is feeling better. He got me worried a couple of times but it seems that all is under control. Still under attention but okay. Instead with my wife things turned out a bit different from what I thought. Apparently, my friend did not go out of town for work that weekend, Friday till Monday, like he said he would. Instead, he stayed and did an investigation service which he had planned without telling me. Turned out that my wife that Friday got in other man's car, he followed them to a normal building full of offices and studios. He waited till they got out and followed them inside the hall. My wife knows him so he stayed at a safe distance. They got inside the elevator with other people, and he only noted the floors the elevator went before stopping. The elevator had stopped in three different floors. 
He then waited outside and after a little bit more than a half hour they came back down. My wife had papers and she was watching them with OM, then he gave her a hug and they went back to work. My friend then looked up what was on the floors of the building from his office. One floor had two private apartments. One floor had a gynecological practice and a private apartment and one had was only dedicated to an engineering firm. His suspects were obviously for the gynecological practice. He did further investigations and it turns out that at the gynecological practice worked the other man's wife. She is a gynecologist. My friend had all the info he wanted, but since I was having problems with my father, he decided to tell me only after the danger was over. I then talked to my wife, I didn't say nothing of what was going on, I only told her that friend saw her with other man while she was entering a building, and this time in a calm voice told her what's going on, and I did not mention the part of OMW. In a few words OM was helping my wife. My wife was looking for a gynecologist because she wanted to understand the problems that she was having. OM told her about his wife and she accepted first to meet her and then to be her patient. She had symptoms of menopause and never told me about it. She said that she was afraid that I would get upset and change. She told me that OM was giving her rides to his wife's studio on hours that she was free, that OM knowing the problem was only being gentile. I found about this after I told her that I found it strange that she would always be with him on car rides during lunch. She cried at the thought that I suspected her having an affair and apologized for not telling me what really was going on. Well I summarized the whole thing, but there are more details. It started when one of her female co-workers knew about other man wife, and she suggested to ask other man if his wife was okay to get an appointment out of work hours. He didn't know about the problem, he just talked with his wife and she said that it was okay, told him when my wife could stop by. Other man offered her a ride this wife that first time. OMW did her visit and told her what she needed to have, such as blood tests. Other man knew what was going on only when he saw my wife upset and sad after one of the latest visits. My wife is only 40 so she was plenty upset when she found out that she really has this problem. According to her, she told him in that moment of weakness, and he suggested to talk to me and told her to not worry. If he in the meanwhile was playing a double game I don't know, but doing so well with OMW. She said that now that there is the certain problem, that's what we would do. She said that not knowing for sure and also not wanting to get work hours off, that it was useless to talk about without her first knowing for sure. My wife has a female co-worker that she knows from years, she also has the celiac disease just like my wife. Back in October my wife first talked with her co-worker complaining about the way she was feeling and the suspects she was having, so this friend of hers told her that other man has a wife that is a gynecologist and that she is pretty good at her job. She has a private studio with another doctor. At that point my wife asked other man if she can have the cell. Number. Other man told her that he was heading at her office and that if she wanted, she could meet her personally and talk, and my wife agreed. This was the first time in October. My wife said that they only talked to know each other better and that my wife would eventually contact her for an appointment. The OMW has working hours that don't match with my wife's hours, and the OMW said that she would arrange the appointments when she was in the studio and close to public. The first appointment was in mid-November and she went there with the female co-worker, the second was by the end of November and that time she went with other man because he was to meet OMW for other reasons. The three appointment was in December when I saw her get out of his car, white face. The four appointment was after I saw them again almost two weeks after. The bench story. When my friend got involved and caught them on the bench, not in a park but on a city bench, I am guessing it was when she had received the news of confirmation for menopause that other man handed to her from the OMW. When I will ask for further info this episode will be resolved also. Then the last appointment was what the OMW told her to do for the therapy, including the pill and which brand to start with. As for keeping all a secret from me, she just justified it saying that until she wasn't sure she did not want to get me upset. Or worse, that's why she asked me if I would ever change my feelings for her that night time ago. But still, it's something that I didn't appreciate. Like I had wrote, I am a security guard, the one that is armed with a gun and a bullet jacket, and I am a person that faces reality with calm and rationality. I must remind everyone that the explanation she gave me was because I had only told her that friend saw her at building, and nothing else. Then she told me all that I have said. She does not know that I had her followed, she does not know my state of mind. All the info came from her without me asking much. Why I do this? First, I needed to know if dates and certain situations combine. Second, I needed to look in her eyes to catch an emotional discomfort. Third, I didn't want to show myself insecure nor make her suspect that I have had doubts of her loyalty. Now, she gave me these reasons, explanations, but I am still not satisfied. When I will confront her, admitting what I did, I will need to know the full story in every detail before putting my foot down. If something physical happened, for me it's over, done. In the meanwhile, yesterday and today she was followed. Nothing out of normal. She also called the OMW in front of me to say that she started the pill. Her next appointment will be by mid-March, and she is going with me. Finally, I have some free time to try an update, although nothing important has happened. I will start from this question, where basically I left my last login. My wife acts normal, like always. She seems to show some sort of relief and cuddles with me more often, but even before she used to do it, but only now as if she seeks comfort. 
She told me, she said that she had no desire for bonding, was intolerant, hot flashes and night sweats and also headaches. She was more upset about the non-desire for bonding, that's why she asked me if I would still be there in the future. Like I had wrote in my earlier posts, we have an average bonding of three times a week, and she confessed that lately she forced herself for bonding just to please me like a wife should do. So, to sum the whole situation Friday will be an important day for me. Talking with OMW will give me many answers. The other answers I will have from confronting her of what I know on our way back home. On these past days she has been helpful with my father, also very close to me on days where it seemed that my father was in danger. I also had an intensive stress at work, but now slowly I'm feeling better. So, Friday I take off from work to go with my W at OMW office. I had told my W that I only had two hours then I needed to go back at work, it was a little white lie. I had the rest of that day covered just in case for something unforeseen. When I arrived, she kept telling me that since she told me everything already it was weird to go there again, I just answered that I needed to meet OMW also to have more info to face this problem. She was okay with that but felt a bit embarrassed. Anyway, we arrive at OMW office and I felt as that lady was x-raying me. First thing she said was, what's the pleasure of this visit? With a nasty face. I was pissed already on my own and I simply responded, only to finally meet the doctor that is taking care of my wife and also to know what I can do to help, is this a problem for you? So, I guess we both got nasty. OMW said that since my wife and her had already talked about everything, she just didn't understand why we needed to meet also. Because I love my wife and I wanted to understand. I grabbed the receipts and put them on the table and said, for example, all these visits made in the past months, and I had known only recently the reason why. She first looked and then confirmed all the visits and in an unpleasant way added that it was up to my wife to let me know things and not her. And here is where I went crazy. I stayed calm and said yes, you are right, and I guess that I must thank your husband for this also. She looked at me as if I was crazy. My wife did also. I said if it wasn't for him that accompanied my wife at almost every single visit, she wouldn't have known about her problems. And yes, I agree that this was something that my wife needed to share with only me instead with your husband. That put a question mark on her forehead. In that moment I was like possessed and in rage, and I went on asking if she was okay allowing her husband being so kind with other women. Needless to say, she said that now she understands the reason why my wife doesn't talk with me about certain things, and that I am maybe an insecure person. I just smiled and while I was getting upset to her, or maybe I now know why your husband seeks to help other women. Have a nice day and I left. I heard my wife apologize to her and then she came out following me and asked what was all that about. I told her that I knew everything, that she and other man had crossed the boundary and that I was really pissed. She was in complete shock, then began to explain that other man was only a good friend and was helping. He doesn't know what her problems are, she never told him, he just thought that she was worried for something more serious. I said is that why he hugs and kisses you on a public bench where everybody can see. Or maybe that's the reason why they are often on their own during lunch breaks. She kept on saying that nothing was out of order, that all was just innocent and that she has no feelings nor desire for other man. Actually, she seemed almost flattered by my jealousy. At that point I asked her a question, was it normal that OM was helping instead of me? Was it normal me not knowing what was going on? She said that she wanted to be sure before alarming me, and that she didn't think that she not respected me. I said that after 18 years it worries me that you don't know what respect is, so I will show it to you my way. She was questioning me for the meaning of that and I said that it was time for me to get back at work and we talk after. I had already talked with the porter of the building where my headquarters is, and I knew he had a two-room apartment available for free. He also said I can use it whenever I want. So, I decided that that night I needed it. I wanted to make sure my wife got the message of the meaning of respect, so I spent the night out in that two room. I called her telling her that she needs to think better the meaning of respect and she can do it on her own that night cause I was not coming home and to tell the kids that I had a night shift. She started to cry and plead and I just said, did I ever disrespect you? Well now I will and I hung up, shoot down my cell and dumped myself on the coach. That was the rest of the day. The story continues, but I need to go. Be back for the second part. I can add that after all this crap we are back and happy as ever, but this happened after the weekend. Sorry but time to go. I will get back tomorrow. Just to clarify, I don't think that OMW was warned or something like that before meeting her. Understand that I was that day a bit stressed out, nervous for this meeting and things going on with my dad, and when I am in that state of mind, I show it. So as soon as we arrived me and the OMW already didn't like each other. Also, I hate people that are snobs and she is one of them. Don't forget that this meeting was made after OMW and my W had finished a previous visit, so OMW was a bit annoyed that we met shortly after and upon my request, that I was the one who wanted to talk and meet her. In her mind why not wait for her next visit, and why not of my answers given by my W since she knows everything. I couldn't tell her that I was there because I wanted to make it sure that the dates of the previous visits needed to match up with the receipts. So that's the reason for the what's the pleasure of this visit. After about 15 minutes of talk she came up and said what she said, and that got me mad, and I turned the table around that she might have a problem with her husband. 
Also, I told her that if I give the impression of being insecure, she gives me the impression of having an open marriage with her husband, forgot to mention that before. During this exchange my W was terribly embarrassed. Every once she says something like, what are you saying Frank? My guess is that when my wife got the appointment, she might have put the reason all on me. Also, OMW has not wanted money for the previous visits, and I guess this also embarrassed her. Anyway, the next day, said I, I was already at work since I spent the night in that two room at my headquarters and after one hour I logged on my cell. Sure, enough it was full of her calls. Some even at 4am, then many messages like please call back, I'm worried. So, I decided to call my D15, it was 7.30 and by 8 she had to be in school, says she is school. I gave her the good morning and by the way she talked it didn't seem that she knew anything, I wished her an S7 a good day and hung up. Five seconds after my wife calls asking if all was okay and a mixed feeling of upset, worried and mad statements. I stopped her and told her that from now on I will show her the respect she has shown me and to not wait for me this weekend. Tell the kids I'm sleeping overnight in the hospital with my dad, which was what I had really in mind to do. She was about to talk but I didn't give her a chance, so I hung up and shot down the cell again. Did my morning shift, had lunch and went to the hospital to check on my dad. He was doing better, he is now out since last Wednesday but whatever. We had a great father and son conversation that I will remember with pleasure. I didn't tell him nothing about the situation, and after a long hug I told him that Sunday I would be back. Then I went over my pie friend's house and gave him an update. Man was he pissed. He also said that I can't never do his type of job. Anyway, he said now he will have other man followed at this point. That made me laugh. I knew that D15 had to go over her girlfriend's house by 17 so I turned on my cell to call her but didn't have time to dial that mine was ringing, guess who. S7 was playing in his room and D15 was at her friend's house, so she was alone in the bedroom when she called. She was crying and really really upset. Even got me scared the way she was. So, I told her to have S7 go to friend's house who also has a S7 and call me when done and I will be home to talk. So, when I get there she doesn't even give me the time to get in and hugs me tight crying and almost suffocating me. We had a long, long talk. The highlights are, other man never attempted to get to her, he thought that my wife was worried about cancer, until this day W never told him it was about menopause. That she did wrong not telling me, but her intentions were not to hurt me, she just needed to understand. She confessed that lately she had very less desire for bonding and was afraid. That's why she asked if I will always love her that night time ago. That the bench episode was when she got the certain response of menopause, and since other man saw her upset and not wanting to be invading her privacy, he was only comforting me to not worry and all can be resolved. That his wife is a great doctor and that she will take care of her, and to tell me whatever was going on. That the white face was only because she was caught off guard seeing me and knew that I might get the wrong impression, nothing else. In a few words she was very sincere, and also apologizing on every episode. She admitted that she might have crossed the boundary but honestly didn't think much bad about it, after all we had a stable and fulfilling healthy marriage. So, I just looked at her. I said what did she think about OMW? She felt indebted towards her. She had helped out of her working hours. She had not taken even one euro, proved to be a good doctor, but was in shock with what happened that day and was in total blackout. She said that she will find another doctor. And she did. As for other man she swore to God to not go NC unless for work issues. This will be clarified on my next update. Pause me another man did have a confrontation a couple of days after. So that night I went back home and my wife has been till now very affectionate and caring, and so am I. This is a long one. 1. The external exam such as blood test were writing on the white receipt, not the national classic red one, mutable. Son they were made privately and paid apart, while the ones that she did in her office such as sonograms and mammogram were done by OMW directly. Understand that OMW received my wife out of her working hours, and that is something that you do for a family member usually. So, the external exams had receipts but the ones made in her office had only the results written just for the private records. 2. Actually 3 months, the one appointment in October was only to meet OMW, in November there were two appointments, one with the female co-worker for a general visit, also pap test. The two day with other men waiting outside was for a mammogram and for a request of blood hormonal tests. The three and four visit were in December, the third was to check the results of the blood test. And she also made a sonogram, then also OMW asked to take also thyroid tests. The fourth appointment was to do the final consultation of all the exams and start with a brand of contraceptives pills. The last visit in January was to change the brand of the pill because it made her feel not good and also to do a bone test, hope I translated it right. 3. Wife had told other man only that she had to do some blood tests and was showing other man which ones. Other man said that if she didn't know where to go. He had a friend who could do them in fast time. She declined and went to one nearby our place that we know already. 4. This part is what I was thinking also, but then again thinking that the visits were made on OMW free time it does make sense. I mean it's like this week I am pretty busy, let's see for next. Something like that. Also, she had decided to tell me all on the weekend when my dad started to feel bad. But she did not want to aggravate more my stress. Did I stop something that was getting out of control? 
Who knows? But for sure I first put my wife back on track and then also put OM in his place. Oh, she is very responsible now. She actually told me that my leaving and spending the night out made her go crazy, didn't sleep and starting to feel sick. I reminded her that if she ever put me in that situation again, she was the one who would have to leave. Other man was trying to pull the same BS of his wife of being insecure. He didn't say it but the way he was talking made me understand that. The pills more than getting her upset made her feel like sick. She never took pills so I guess that the brand was a type that didn't match with her female hormones or whatever. I am not an expert on this stuff. When she laughed, she told me it was because she found it funny that I would think something bad about it, like if it was something silly of me. For me to be there in the future is when she already knew she was in menopause and was wondering if I would always be so kind and patient with her. Till this day she has no idea I had her followed, that my friend was on surveillance. She thinks that some coworker of hers told me things she didn't say or mention, but she never asked me who. She came clean telling me that twice she had gone with other man at a local celeriac restaurant with other man's car. Well, I can see that her responses don't seem fully convincing, but from how I know her and how she talks to me, I believe her. In honesty I also believe that she probably liked the attention of other man, like most women and men do, but never had bad intentions. To clarify the restaurant thing, it's not a romantic place to go eat, it's a simple fast food place. Anyway, I do realize that many think that I'm being gaslighted, but it's not the impression that I have. Maybe she felt good with the attentions, but I don't think it was for bonding or looking for an affair. Many women give me the looks and I just smile back. It makes me feel good but for sure I won't ask them to have a drink. And that's where my wife realized her mistake. Even if it was a good friend co-worker of years, it still was bad and she apologies many times for this. My friend was pissed at me for not having patience. He said if it was to arrest a person I would have blow up the plan. Anyway, he is also convinced that my wife didn't do something foolish, but he wanted to wait and organize things in a better way. What I can say now is that for me our marriage has been great. I met her when she was 18 and before me, she had not even kissed another man in her life, I am, for many might not be true, her first and only in every way. I pulled her out of her shell and gave her the confidence to become a woman in career in society, since her only world was only church, home and householding. Never been jealous of her and I gave her all the trust a normal husband does not give. I am no Mr. Wonderful, but I am not certainly Mr. Freakout or controlling that case. We got engaged after 5 years of dating, she was 23 I was 27, and 1 year after we got married. We had no debts, but with only 2k of euro in bank. All we have was made on our own, no help from neither of our parents. Then when she was 25 came our first D this was with the following 4 years the best period of our lives. Together we not only made it on our own growing the baby and taking care of the house, but also found the way to take care of our parents that started to have health problems, and also many friends that were having marital problems, saving literally their marriage. We had a hard time when Dee was 5 years old because the 2 day baby that we were trying to have just didn't arrive. But when we were about to give up, a couple of years after she was pregnant of S this was a new fuel injection for both of us. She was 32 and I was 36 when this happened. Now that we are together almost 18 years, this is the first case of suspicious behavior ever. She was never controlled by me, I never laid a hand on her, we barely fought, kids didn't stress us and work was, is always okay. One last thing, I saw her twice come out of the other man cars, she added that there were two other times. She also said that before seeing OMW, last year, they had lunch many other times but nearby and most of the times with other co-workers. It's not something that escalated only recently. Unfortunately, I was not present because my father had a new illness and was hospitalized again, but now it seems he has restabilized. He returned home after a week, but on the 26th of this month must be back for further controls. It has been a very hard period, my father was near the end but he made it, and in that same time my mother also had her problems. For two weeks I had both of them recovered in two different hospitals. Leave it to you all what kind of stress that was. Now they are both back home, but full of suffering. Every weekend I visit them and try to help as much as I can. I call them twice a day when I'm not there. All this situation has reflected negatively on me. The only light that made me relax was my D5 and my S8, turned 8 years the 25 of April. The rest was just something that annoyed me. Work, friends, hobbies and also. My wife, she says that all there is to know I already know. My best friend and others couldn't prove otherwise. So, I just need to accept and acknowledge that she only crossed some boundaries but in good faith and no second feelings. Yeah, but why can't I have that feeling of total commitment I once had with her, my side not hers. She has been very close to me in these rough days, taking care of the kids in the house while working a full-time job and while I have been running from hospital to another between my breaks and at night off work. Even take care of my parents close washing them and many other things. Now since both my parents are back home since the 4th of May, life is going back to normal. The problem is that I seem changed. I'm working on myself to get better. Yes, she sees me different, at first thought it was for my parents, but when I didn't do the usual with her she realized that I had back thoughts of what had happened. She is always nice and understanding, gives me a break with the housework and kids and tries to talk often. Don't know if she continues to have lunch with other man, but she calls me every day on her break. And she knows that I better not see him around. 
especially in this period of my life. She has been looking for other offices to transfer without me telling her. A couple of days ago she said to me that they were looking for personal in another building on the opposite side where she works now. My answer was, so, what are you waiting for? She looked surprised and said that she will check it out. My parents are one of the pillars of my life. To clear some points, the surprise she had about changing department was more like really, as if she finally realized that it is a must. In fact, she already started the paperwork to be transferred. It will take a couple of weeks, but I can handle the timing. My comment, I hope and am praying things get better for you, your wife, and all your family. I'm worried you don't know if she's still having lunch with him. It almost sounds like you have been so hurt by her behavior that you no longer care. Has she done anything to make you believe she's still in love with you? Seems like she gotten away with an emotional affair. 